Well, you can, they can have confidence uh, in our defence arrangements by examining the Defence Strategic Review. Uh, one of the things that has occurred is that we inherited a range of programs that had been announced that were massively uh, over budget and over time. And that is one of the things that was identified. And we're busy fixing up that mess by making sure that our investment both in terms of recruiting personnel, but also in our assets, is up to scratch. And that's what my government has been working through methodically through both uh, Richard Miles and through Patrick Conroy. Prime Minister, um, other leaders have visited southern Israel. Why hasn't Australia? Well, a range of uh, foreign ministers, the fact is a range of foreign ministers, including the Foreign Minister of Canada and other countries, uh, didn't visit uh, the, uh, I assume you're referring to the kibbutzes, uh, when they visited uh, Israel. Uh, Penny Wong is visiting Israel. She's speaking to uh, the uh, family and, uh, and uh, friends of uh, the hostages, both those people who have been uh, released, but also the families who quite rightly uh, want uh, people released. Australia reiterates our call for every single hostage to be released unconditionally and immediately. That is our position. It's a clear and unequivocal position that we have had from day one. No, because that's just not true. We do have people there, and the release from the United States uh, made that very clear. Uh, the joint release that we were involved uh, and participated, and the United States has expressed, and the UK have expressed uh, their thanks to the countries that were engaged in the operation against the Houthis. The Defence Minister said there'd be additional personnel there uh, this month. It's now the 16th of January. Uh, the personnel will be there this month, uh, as we promised. Uh, there'll be action on the ground, and I'm confident that uh, I'll work constructively with the Premier of New South Wales and with the private sector to make sure that the vision that is there for the Aerotropolis, one that I've been a long-term advocate of, uh, is delivered. Uh, one of the things about the uh, Aerotropolis and the airport, just like the Moorbank in a modal terminal that is going gangbusters in southwestern Sydney, is that uh, just as we're here in the electorate of Mitchell in northwestern Sydney, uh, what those two projects are about is Sydney turning, instead of always turning towards the CBD in the east, it's about turning Sydney also to the west and making an enormous difference. They're exciting projects. I've been to the airport and seen the development that's there. Uh, the runways uh, are there, not uh, ready to take aircraft yet. But I tell you what, it's well underway. And the airport terminals... A lot of the work that occurs in a construction is under the ground. The baggage handling, all of that work is happening there. And uh, it's like with any infrastructure project. Uh, if you have a look at it at the very beginning, uh, it appears to be slower. Uh, once it picks up, uh, it picks up at a mass, much faster rate. And I'll work with uh, the Premier of New South Wales. I don't know if you want to add anything, Chris. Uh, very closely, because this is about jobs and economic activity in Western Sydney. Sure. Thanks, uh, Anthony. Yeah, look, I mean, we are committed to this project. If you look at state and Commonwealth funding for this region of Sydney, over $5 billion for the airport, over $10 billion for the metro, 
hundreds of millions of dollars for new road upgrades in that part of New South Wales. The Mamre Road Industrial Zone or uh, area, which will be a commercial manufacturing zone for Sydney, is located between the intermodal and the second airport. And our big message to firms in Australia and around the world is that we're open for business. We want you to invest in New South Wales. There are amazing opportunities, great sites, brand new infrastructure and world-class labour as well. No, we can do it. And we're working with the Commonwealth Government on a whole range of funding agreements. The State and the Commonwealth are already in joint funding agreement on the metro, on the airport and a whole bunch of road and infrastructure projects. I don't expect that to be the limit of State, Commonwealth funding support and together we're going to deliver a world-class new region, not just for New South Wales but for the entire country.